one of our most exciting crop protection projects to date, CHAP is collaborating with our partner Cabby and two industry leaders H&T Bioseed and Russell Bio to develop a novel biopesticide. Here in our laboratories we house two important pieces of CHAP equipment that we're using to produce biopesticide, non-chemical pesticides. So the first thing we did is we went through the Cabby and CHAP joint assets of our fungi collection. And we went through and we screened those on insects to see if we've got kill. And one in particular, a Pyslomyces, has shown really good kill. And that's what we're using on our aphids. We've also tested it on the cabbage stem flea beetle and have promising results, but we need to repeat those again when we get more insects later in the season. Cabbage stem flea beetle is a pest affecting Aussie rape. The adult beetles feed on the crop, causing shot holing damage stunting growth or even killing plants. In the late summer and autumn, the larvae hatch and enter the stems, destroying plants from the inside. Oilseed rape is the second most profitable combinable crop for UK farmers and a useful break crop within arable rotations. Previously, growers used insecticidal seed treatments such as neonicotinoids to protect the crop, but these are now banned. Increasing resistance to the remaining control measures such as pyrethroid-based insecticides means cabbage stem flea beetle now cross growers around £70 million a year. As Belinda from CHAP's Fungal Biopesticide Development Lab explained, the Pacelomyces fungus Isaria fumis erosia from our National Reference Collection showed promising results on cabbage stem flea beetle. Our recent work has shown a 90% knockdown rate 16 days post-application the project partners are now working to create the optimum biopesticide product formulation and to replicate that on a commercial scale. If this novel biopesticide is proven to be effective in field trials, it could help to mitigate yield losses of up to £63 million a year, meaning more homegrown oil seed rape and fewer imports, all while respecting the wider environment.